What if we all came together to do something great? We're building a soil reef that will stretch from coast to coast, starting in your backyard. Let's meet the people who are making it happen. What's your name and, and what do oh, you do here? Just I'm one sentence. Chemek Valchak. I'm one of the seven horticulturalists. I have an area that I take care of, designing, maintaining, and uh, implementing all the projects. Chanakli is a uh, non-profit organization. It's actually it's called Chanakli Foundation. So we are a, a public garden open to the public since 1993, all about horticulture. So growing plants the best we can from all over the world. My area is mostly native plants and uh, a lot of woodland species. This whole area got soil trouble from my construction, mainly uh, poor soil that uh, got brought up during construction from the sewer line. So uh, mm. heavy clay, so amending the soil to bring more uh, life to it. So that's all my work here was about. So you're saying that uh, there was some construction here and that there was subsoil that was really heavy clay uh, brought up to the surface and so planting in that was challenging with what you wanted to put in here? It so was pretty much impossible. I mean, uh, right after construction, it was just bare soil. Nothing would grow in it. So bringing both some organic matter and uh, rebuilding the structure is uh, a big challenge. So biochar works great for that. Um, any new plantings I add, I'm, most of the time I, I, I incorporate some of it into it. Places like right here, where um, I want excellent drainage, but also enough moisture that the plants would uh, establish and then thrive. Other places uh, where uh, rebuilding the structure, allowing the microorganisms to establish in the soil is a big thing. Any new beds I install, I mix quantities of, of biochar into it to uh, basically enable the plants to, to be happy, thrive, and uh, put the show on. So <laughs> this is a, an example of the, uh, the uh, well-drained area that uh, plants that grow here require that. And as you can see, they, they're very happy. I use uh, biochar both in the in uh, planting beds and also containers. Uh, so uh, right here, that's a custom, I mean, my own mix, uh, but we also use uh, some commercial mixes like uh, organic mechanic mix. If you weren't using biochar, what would you use to uh, accomplish the same means? Good question. I mean, uh, over the years I tried wood chips, takes longer and encourages worms, which are not necessarily beneficial in the woodland setting where originally they weren't native because they speed up the uh, decomposition, decomposition and, and dry up the, the upper layer of the soil. So. Uh, um, so that, that, that works, but much slower and uh, not, as, not as good, basically. With wood chips, you would encourage the worms, which aren't necessarily ideal for this situation. So the no. biochar is more like a permanent wood chip that, that won't uh, have that effect? Exactly, that's the thing. In, in new beds, what, what's uh, great about biochar that it lightens up the soil, but it doesn't uh, allow compaction. I think it's those beds you know, two years later, it's I can plant them with my hands in them. Hmm. So, uh, you know, even with plants colonizing them, they uh, and they uh, uh, well drained enough that the plants are happy. Yet they hold water enough that, you know, I don't need to water them constantly. So, that's uh, that's a big turn on for me. Yeah, for biochar. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, cool. If you want to try some soil reef biochar, head over to soilreef.com and use the promo code biocharbob for a discount. It's not just about my story, it's about our story. So if you're using biochar, let me know. Use the hashtag mysoilreef to share your experience with me and other biochar users. If you find these videos valuable, please subscribe to my channel.